something he doing after school he dedicated his life to it when you dedicate your life to something what does that look like tell me uh, let's say if you dedicated your life to planting trees and stuff. You do that for <laughs> tell me what you your life what looks you like plant everything everywhere all the time if and you I are going to be the best tomorrow. basketball player on the planet what does your life look like you okay you practicing <laughs> Money. You get money. You, go to sleep. I always you go to sleep. always playing. That means your purpose is basketball. It's you full of it. court. You like live it. through it. So, how many of us right now feel like we have an idea of what our purpose is so far? Us. What do you have? I'm interested in that. Musician. Musician. That's your purpose. Go. Basketball. Your purpose is basketball. Purpose is different from career goals. If you want to be a basketball player, that's cool. Or if you want to end up in a basketball career, that's fine. But your purpose, listen, I'm going to die trying to do this or I'm going to do this. This is what I'm doing. This is what I'm about. Me, working with you. If I'm not working with children, I'm not working. Understand what he's I'm a man in his glory, oh. a boy in his dreams, he and he's living his life. Elohim will be free, and I am not your deep. Tomorrow will answer right. yesterday's yeah. dreams, while today he is living. Not sure yet, very honest. Go ahead. Uh. Situation is critical, found murdered individual, the blast separated the spiritual from the physical flat, laid out with the ground at his back, in the same position of his last victim, in fact, anyway, that party was whack, till Shantae showed up, she shook, cause her brother got his face blowed up, and when the perpetrator came through, she straight swole up, she had the blow, couldn't do it, she straight froze up, but uh, her life flashed like seven stacks of cash, slow down, you in the fast lane about to crash, the purpose for murder, she couldn't get it, of course, you know, we got special guests today, and before we get started, we got to do a check to make sure everybody is on point because we got a phase of things that we want to actually engage well in. So before we get started, up in the morning with the rising sun. Up in the morning with the rising sun. Can't get to sleep till my work is done. Can't get to sleep till my work is done. Sound off. Hip-hop. Sound off. My detox. Break it on down. D E C O S X. Detox. Back down. Life doesn't necessarily give you second chances all the time, okay? So the ones that are on their toes, the ones that are ready, will get most of the things in life, all right? So practice now on being ready. Okay? I got a question. What's your question? Is that right, um, I'll let that gentleman tell you who he is and all the everybody else tell themselves. Who As we look into the life of Enoch Muhammad, with hip hop detox, they are changing the way you think and things they watch. Some of the negative things they watch with their parents as older adults learn from our parents. Take a look inside and watch some of the hip hop detox artists they have. Today they were at Crown Point um, Elementary School on the west side of Chicago where they brought Free Ray Rick Roth in, who just landed today from the airport, in to teach the children about the negative effects of drugs, game banging, and things of that nature. 
Please stay tuned. Thank you. You're watching UrbaneNews.tv. We get information, but we don't know how to use the information we get. Do you understand what I mean, anybody? Everybody understand what I mean by getting information and, and breaking down what can be used and what should be disregarded? Mm -hmm. And a lot of times in our community, we don't know because, like the brother was saying, that they've been passing down stuff to us from years and years, and we do stuff and we don't know why we do it. Like when I was growing up, I wouldn't wear red. And I never knew why I wouldn't wear red until after I sit down and I analyze myself, and I figured that that was something that the whole neighborhood had taught me, that red was a bad color. Because I grew up in the Crip neighborhood, and I guess you guys know Crips wear red and blood. Yep. I mean, Crips wear blue and bloods wear red. So in my neighborhood, it was taboo to wear red. One time I wore some red shoes to school and everybody at school laughed at me. So what I'm saying is that these things can affect the way you think. So you have to be sharp enough and confident enough in yourself where you can make decisions that going to benefit you and not what everybody else think is cool or what everybody else think is, is right. Like the brother was saying, when I was coming up, I saw this movie. I first saw the movie, I must have been around maybe 17, maybe 18. But this movie stuck in my mind. I saw this black guy, because when I was coming up, there wasn't many black guys that, that I could look up to, that I felt that I wanted to be like, because I always wanted to have a lot of money. I wanted to be rich all my life. Ever since I was a little kid, I wanted to get my mom out the ghetto. I wanted to get her out of this house where we had rats and roaches and would be sometimes wouldn't be food in the house. So when I was young, when I was your age, I had made it my commitment that I was gonna get my mom out of this house. That I was gonna do better. How many of y'all wanna do good in life? Everybody. He's a man in his glory, a boy in his dreams, and he's living his life. And Elohim went to free and I am not your deep. Tomorrow will answer yesterday's dream. Uh, situation is critical, found murdered individual, the blast separated the spiritual from the physical flat, laid out with...